Pitch Black, a Dusklight story. We've been waiting for the game for nearly three years, I've had my copy for just under a week, and episode one is launching tomorrow. I've been anticipating this game ever since it was first announced back in 2019, and so have quite a few other people, and I did back the game on Kickstarter, which is how I got my copy of the game a week early. I finally have had the opportunity to talk about it and review it, and uh, glad to bring this review to you. Very, very happy. But before we get into that, I just want to give a few notes. First of all, as mentioned previously, I did back the game on Kickstarter, I bought the early bird tier which gave me access to two copies of the game, one on PC, one on mobile. I also have my name spoken in the credits and I got the game a week before general release. There was also a role that you could have on the Discord server but I wasn't on Discord during that time and honestly I just haven't gone back to claim it but that was my choice. Second, Purple Jam did give me a message to play for you so I just want to say a massive thank you to them. That really really means a lot to me. Really really appreciate it guys. And I also want to say that the opinion expressed in this video is mine and mine alone and my opinion of this game does not reflect the opinion that I have of the people who created it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey George, this is Harry from Purple Jam. Thanks so much for reviewing the game and really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, likewise George, this is Connor. Um, thank you very much for what you're doing. And yeah, hope you enjoy it too. I'll play their game. If it means I get answers. After almost three years in development, changes in direction and multiple delays, the wait is finally over. Well, sort of. I say that because the game will be releasing in multiple episodes. Episode 1, which releases tomorrow, is intended to be one of five or six. Those are the developer's words, not mine. Each episode is supposed to be an hour long, though if you know what you're doing, it'll take you half that time. I timed myself when I was playing the episode for this review, and I had a total of 30 minutes and 3 seconds. And this is a big problem. But what exacerbates it is the fact that this small amount of time isn't used wisely. You spend this minuscule segment of gameplay walking around. Nothing feels new here. In fact, this feels more like a bad tech demo than a project that spent three whole years in development. I'll take that as a serious compliment. Unless you want to help out, of course. You called? I did. And you came. You're gonna want a great pair of headphones for this. Seriously, for an audio game, this is bloody fantastic. Thanks to a binaural engine that does a great job of communicating where characters and objects are in relation to you, I could very easily imagine myself being in these surroundings. Unfortunately, that's where most of the good comes to an end. The story, which, while interesting, is extremely slow. The plot goes something like this. After an event that ended the world as we know it, the city of Dusklight was established. People in the city have to drink this mysterious liquid given out by the church in order to retain their sight. The Nightlander rebel group renounces the city with its five districts and the church and attempts to make a change. Oh, and don't forget about the evil corporation that runs everything. That's Lampton Energy. Paper pushers in their palaces, money grabbers in their mansions, the corporate kings of Dusklight. You play as an unnamed protagonist traumatized by his past. He now seeks retribution for... We're not exactly told yet. That church stole everything from me. I say he and his because the option to play as a female that was promised isn't there. That's not the only promised feature that hasn't made it into episode one. For instance, they promised us a stealth system that would allow you to make use of beacons to distract enemies. Instead, we're left with whatever this is. It doesn't even seem to do much of anything. Tap control the snake, and then move forward. Crouch and move slow. If my brother can do it, so can I. Where's he sneaking around at night? Yes! We did it, little brother. Free at last. We'll never let anyone hold us down. They did promise us combat. Well, there's combat, and then there's this. 
I'd take simple combat over this any day of the week. Seriously, how much more bare bones can you get? Press space to attack, and press enter to parry. That's it. And believe it or not, but as simple as it is, it's still broken. Parrying seems to work regardless of your position in relation to the enemy. You can even parry blows coming from behind you. Striking only seems to happen when the game feels like it, and oh. Oh no. You know, I always thought that combat in games like The Veil and A Blind Legend was inconspicuous, but this... This is a whole other level. Seriously, Mr. Unnamed Protagonist, you're making a fool of yourself. If you're listening to this on YouTube, let me know in the comments below if you know someone who throws their punches with a sound like this. Maybe he's just got really heavy fists. Who knows? That's not to say I didn't enjoy my time with the game. The audio was fantastic, and the movement was incredibly responsive. Also, keep in mind that there are still four or so more episodes yet to be released. This is just the prologue, brother. While the gameplay was nothing to smile at, the story was slow, and the broken, well, not really, combat detracted massively from the experience, I'm still prepared to try episode 2 when it comes out. If this game wants to succeed, it's going to need a lot more than the Nightlanders to say. Whether or not this happens remains to be seen. But I do know one thing for certain. No amount of patches or bug fixes is going to come close to fixing this mess.